Good morning guys. It's Wednesday. I've had a few days off and it was much needed. So I've had a chill out. I've given myself a little bit of a refresh. I'm actually up early today. I'm at McDonald's. I don't know about anyone else, but do you not really feel like you're going to slay your day if you get a McDonald's breakfast? I know that I do. It would due to be put on lockdown again. So that actually starts tomorrow. So I've been rushing around trying to get everything that I think that I was going to need. By the time this is uploaded, we'll have been on lockdown again for a week. So I hope that everyone is managing okay. As far as the stay at home things goes, I'm not going to be staying at home. I'm still going to be working on the house. Technically, I'm a construction worker, the way that I see it. Um, it's no different to me getting a workman coming to do work at the house. So I'm still going to be working on the house. And I've decided that I'm going to have a go at plastering the living room. So once I've finished here, um, I've got a few bits that I need to go and pick up. I've ordered a Christmas tree from Argos um, because we're going to need a smaller tree in that living room. So obviously we've been on lockdown, not being able to go to a shop. I wanted to get the tree sorted. So I'll go and pick that up shortly. I went to um, B&Q yesterday. I've managed to get hold of a few bags of plaster. I've got some tools on order at Screwfix, which will be ready in a couple of days for me to go and collect. So I'll probably leave the plaster in until next week, um, maybe on Monday to make a start on that. But yeah, I'm gonna have a go at doing that myself. Back at the house now, I've got all of my stuff. Annoyingly, Argos is actually gonna be open for click and collect. So I didn't need to bother doing that today. But I've got it now. I've got a parking space outside. Praise the Lord. Because I didn't I really didn't want to be carrying five twenty-five kilogram bags of plaster up and down the street. So I'm gonna get that out shortly. I've got the rest of the wood that I needed for the bathroom cabinet. So today I am just gonna get stripping in the living room. Sorry, there's a little bit of noise outside. Um, this house is like where I first started doing DIY. And I know that there's gonna be like so many bits that I uncover now that are just really, really bad. One of them being, when the house got rewired a few years ago, the electrician just left everything open. It wasn't plastered over. So back then, I didn't really know how to fill holes and we'd had someone around doing a few other bits. They'd left a can of expanding foam. So I was like, it's all right, Mum, I'll just, we'll just fill it in with the expanding foam. And honestly, this looked an absolute mess. So you can kind of see it here where I'd done this because it's, it's not even. And when the person that um, decorated this like you can see she just papered over the old paper and then we just pull this off first like, why would you do that i could have sworn that she'd actually strip this off so this is going to be a pain to get off i think but yeah just wait until i show you what a mess i made behind here mm -hmm. Stripping is my least favourite job. This is taking a long time. So I've done one water lot full on the stripper and I've not finished that wall. But to be honest, I'm very, very, very surprised at the plaster under here. This was not what I was expecting at all. I expected it all to be like this. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problem sorting this out really. Hopefully the rest of the room is going to be like that too. So we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I do think that the chimney breast was plastered recently. So yeah, I think I'm going to be doing this all day. So we'll have to see how it goes. Keep everything crossed for me, that the plaster is in good condition everywhere else. Fed up with 
stripping today. I've done most of it and I'm actually really surprised with how the plaster is underneath, let me show you. I think this is probably the worst wall. So I'll use bonding to fill these in before doing the skin. The same over here. This is much, it's not as deep, so I'm not sure whether the bonding will be needed for that actually, but it's probably best off to do it anyway. So I still need to have a bit of a scrape at that. The alcoves are plastered already. There's a little bit of mould here, so I'm not sure what that's all about. So before I paint, I'll put a primer on that and mould and damp sealant. But the window wall is pretty good. Definitely in that corner is fine. There's just a little bit here, which I think I might have done that actually with um, with the steamer. Brought all the plaster in, I've got a parking space, woohoo! So I managed to get four bags of, well, this was all I could fit in the trolley yesterday. I would have liked to have got a couple more bags actually, but I've got four multi-finish and a bag of bonding. So hopefully that'll be enough. Morning guys, so I didn't do any filming yesterday because I was carrying on sorting out the walls in the living room. So these are all fully stripped now. Um, a bit more plaster's come off and I've had a bit of an issue near the window. So this is how it's looking. There is a lot of patching to do, um, but at least I've got it all off now. The toilet pipe's getting done this morning, so what I need to go and do now is due in about half an hour. I need to go and pull the other toilet out so that he's got room to work. And then hopefully I'll be able to get cracking with the bathroom this afternoon. I'm a happy girl, the pipe's in, finally. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to put the bath the way around that I wanted to. I actually wanted the taps at this end, but there's not gonna be enough room for all of the pipe work. So I've obviously not put the legs on the bath yet because I'm gonna be moving it out of here. I just wanted to double check that everything was still fitting in. So this will probably work out a little bit better actually because for drilling into this wall it'll be a lot easier because it's breeze block rather than the other side that's brick because I always have trouble drilling into brick for some reason. I've got some new drill bits on order. So that's where the toilet's going to be going. Might move it over just a touch. I'll just have to take the end of the pipe off to do that. I can actually get cracking with things now. One thing, I'm not too sure on the colour of this paint anymore, I might change that. He was actually going to put the towel rail on for me, but I've said to leave it because I might still change this colour. It's just not the type of grey that I thought. And I'm half tempted to use like the black colour that I've got in the bathroom at the other house. I know it'll end up being like a really similar bathroom, but I like that bathroom and I know that it looks nice. I just don't know that it's a little bit too dark, so I'll have a think about the paint over the next couple of days because I can paint around the toilet, but obviously it's a bit more tricky painting around a towel rail, so I'm not sure now whether I'm going to do the tiling first. I think it'll be a lot easier for me to access the whole of the wall. And I'm still not 100% on a tile pattern either. Because this window's off centre, I don't know whether that's going to affect how the tiles are going to look. Um, I mean, the reason why I wanted the bath the other way around was so that we weren't going to be standing directly in front of the window. It is privacy glass, but I might just have to pick up some window film as well, just for that little bit of extra privacy, really. Not that anyone's going to get a full view, but it's still not great, is it, standing in front of a window <laughs> in a shower? So some other stuff that I'd got done whilst he was here... I've got the poles up in Alicia's wardrobe and I've just pulled a few hangers. I think I'm going to use, well, pick up some different hangers. Um, I've, I went this way around with them because this wall is crap, basically. It wasn't 
it's just going straight through so I've just popped up another piece of wood there to secure that in place but she's got like a hanging storage here she can pop shoes or something in there and if she's got anything that's full length there'll just be a couple of spaces down the side for a full length outfit as well so I'll probably get her to come over with me this weekend with some of her clothes and start putting them away and I've cut the pieces of timber for the bath frame as well. I need to do a tip run, I've got all of the wallpaper in the car, the old toilet, I need to go to screw fix and pick up the plastering stuff that I need. So yeah I'll have a think about the tiles, I do think I'm probably best off doing them first but I can start running the pipe hook now that I know where I'm having everything. Got a bloody toilet. Only had to pee in the mop bucket twice today. Bit of TMI, I know. That's all in. So I've actually done a bit more of the plumbing. The battery died on the camera, so I've just had it on charge for a little bit. I'm actually not going to be able to do any more of this now until I go and get some more bits. Because when you're using this pipe work, you need to use some inserts that go in the end. So I've run out of those. I'm also going to need some teas for doing the shower. I didn't get much else done last night because I've been trying to figure out which tile pattern I'm going to go with. I've never tiled around a window before so I want to make sure that I'm going to get this absolutely right. I don't want the window to throw off the pattern and end up looking ridiculous. So what I've had to do or what I'm going to have to finish off doing before I do the tiling is I need to pack this window sill out. I've used some off cuts from when I cut the floorboard. I've got a couple more pieces that I need to cut and just put in there. And then I'm going to add on a piece of MDF onto the top just to change the height of the window so that there's not like too many awkward cuts around the window. It's just the easiest way of doing it. It'll look absolutely fine once it's done because all of this is going to be covered with tile. The time I've added the MDF and the tile on, it's going to come to about here. And the other awkward bit that I've got is the width of the window. So for the tile patterns that I was planning, it's going to make the sides look ridiculous. What I'm going to have to do is go with the subway tile pattern, which I used in my old bathroom. Which I did fancy something different, but the subway is really easy to do. Not too many fiddly cuts, they're just straight cuts. So I think that's probably the thing that's going to look right around the window. Because the last thing I want to do is spend all this time tiling for it to just look slightly off. I think that's the way that I'm going to get it looking the best around the window. If it had just been... A standard wall I would have definitely gone for one of the other patterns but for patterns that are going to be really busy and they're just not I just don't think that they're going to look right so I'm going to go with the subway I think plus the walls completely off so there's one bit that sticks out much further than the other so there's going to be loads of packing to do I just don't want to mess this up because it's going to be the first thing that you see when you walk into the bathroom so I'm going to finish off sorting that window out and then start with the tiling. What a bloody nightmare this tiling's gonna be. So I don't know if you saw on the time lapse, but this doesn't look straight. It is straight, but it doesn't look straight because the window's not straight. And I should have measured this first before I started. 
So as you can see, it looks completely skewed with, but it's the window and the windows out by quite a lot. Tiles, pretty much bob on. So the floor's straight. So I don't think I really could have won with this other than pulling the window out and straightening it up, which I really don't want to do. So I'm just going to carry on with it as it is, try and straighten it up as I'm doing around the window. And I might just have to put something on the windowsill to try and detract away from the fact that it's not level. But as I stood back from it yesterday, I was like, well, what is going on here? But yeah, it's the window. So that's very annoying. So that bottom corner there is where I'm having to pack out. So I just put something in place to just try and hold everything up. So I want to get this finished off today on that back wall. So yeah, I'm just going to have to hope for the best with this one. If there's any tilers watching that have tips to deal with things like this. It's not even so much the whole of the window that's off because that can be fixed. It's the actual window itself, which now the more I look at it, the more it's bugging me. well and truly cock this up <sighs> I have to laugh because otherwise I'd cry I'm gonna have to pull all this off and start again because it looks shit when I got here this morning it just looks even worse because when you look from the top of the ceiling it's off by about two centimeters so I can't cope with it like this to be honest, I don't usually use a spirit level for a lot of things. I've got quite a good straight vision. Like if I'm hanging a picture, I go off site, not by level. And I should have done this this time round. So I'm going to have to pull it all off. I think the best thing for me to do is put the bath in and tile up from the bath. Level the tub with the window and go from that way. That's obviously how the window has been fitted in level with the ceiling rather than the floor it's easier to hide it on the floor than it is with the ceiling because it's just all cocked so i'm gonna have to, this is two packs of tiles which are going to be wasted but i mean they're not expensive it's just annoying it's two afternoons that i've spent on this over the weekend but it's shit and i'm not happy with it so it's all gonna have to come off <sighs> annoying but you live and learn. <laughs> so I've never tiled before a bath's been put in. I've always done it around a bath. So that probably would have been the best way for me to do it. So I might even change the tile pattern now. We, we will see. So you're not going to get to see that in this video. One thing that I did do that I didn't actually show you, unless you follow me on Instagram, is I've changed the colour of the panelling. Uh, this was a bit that was damaged and I had not noticed it before I put it up and painted so I'm going to fill that in before I give it another coat just to even it out. So I still need to I'll pull the toilet out and do behind there but I prefer this colour much much more than the grey. I'll use the grey somewhere else. Back to square one. Two days pretty much wasted but I couldn't live with it like that. I definitely couldn't. So yeah, I'll have to line it, line the bath up and the tiles with the window. So that's what I'm going to be doing today.
So I'm really dusty and a bit tired now. So you saw that I chased out where the shower pipes need to go. I've put up the other end of the frame for the bath. I'm gonna have to do the rest of it when it's in situ. The plumber came back earlier and put the towel rail up for me. I didn't wanna do this myself because I've not had the best of luck with water in here so far with that leak downstairs. So I thought I'll just get him back to do it rather than me messing around. So I just need to patch up the floor. But this looks quite nice. And I've gone over the rest of the wood with the black. So you get an idea of what it's gonna look like. So I can't do anything else today and I am like mega fed up now, I'm really tired. I'd missed the delivery of the taps today whilst I was here, so that's gonna be re-delivered tomorrow. So I'm gonna to have to stay at home till I get that. God screw fix, get the rest of the piping bits that I need and I'm gonna get that bath in tomorrow. In. I've not actually been able to connect up the taps because I assumed wrongly that they were going to come with tap connectors but they didn't so I've had to I've had to order some from screw fix and they're not going to be in for like the next 24 48 hours so so I'll put them in place just so that you can see how they would look and then those pipes at the back are going to run up for the shower and um, that's not ready to collect yet either so once the taps are in, we've got a functioning bathroom. So I've just cut the last piece of the panel in for down the side there. So I'm not gonna put the last piece of dado on until the tiles are on, because I just wanna get it to fit like perfectly in there. Hmm, actually, I might not be able to do that because I'll need to fit it in the edge. I'll probably have to do that first then, and then I can always cut it to size if it's a little bit too long. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So, yeah, it's looking a lot better in here now. I actually feel like I've achieved something this week. I've done a lot and it's a shame that I had to pull all of the tiles off, but I've got the bath leveled up with the window now. So I'll probably leave the tiles until we move in. Still not got a moving date. So the next thing that I really want to concentrate on is getting the living room plastered because even if I can't get that painted before we move in at least it's one messy job that's out of the way so the furniture can still go in there and just be covered up for when I'm painting rather than having to cover up or move out of the room for plastering so that's going to be my next job. I'll do the bonding first, leave that to dry a day or two so whilst I'm waiting on that drying um, I'll maybe do the sink in the bathroom actually but in terms of and probably the shelves for the cabinet as well but the main thing is now that we've actually got a functional bathroom so we can go to the loo have a bath we can wash our hands in the bath as well so the sink isn't absolutely necessary so I feel like I've done a lot this week and it's been very tiring. You've probably been able to see how puffy my eyes have been. I've been getting up really, really early and coming over here and staying as long as I possibly can. I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again next week. Bye.